to this foot and mouth. Do you think there's a hidden agenda here on foot and mouth? I suppose they'll all laugh at me for saying this. It'd wipe out the cattle population and therefore you'd reduce the methane output and reduce carbon dioxide emissions. I mean, at a very practical level, that's true. I, I'd be horrified to think anyone even thinks about that. I agree, in the yeah. Uh, you're talking about you're losing decades of breeding, yes. uh, losing all of your livestock. I mean, there, there will be fires on the horizon for months because you've got to destroy yep. all of your herd. Yep. Uh, anything that we are doing, uh, we must overreact to this risk, not underreact. Mm. Once it's here, it's too late. Uh, and, you know, Murray, what we hear all the uh, comparisons to L platers and training wheels, none of that matters. Uh, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Albanese, should take over this response. He should have done it weeks ago. Yes. And we need to make sure we protect this country and its food security. But, but see, what is up with these people? Now, Murray Watt, Murray Watt, when he was in opposition, said quarantine facilities should be built everywhere to prevent the introduction of coronavirus into Australia. He doesn't seem to care about foot and mouth disease. Oh, he certainly had a change of heart, Alan. There's no doubt about that. I mean, he was put in the job to, to win seats in Queensland. It's, it's not about ag for the Labor Party, as you know, uh, but we've got to be so careful. We, we've had so many reports of people coming back who weren't, weren't warned, weren't checked, didn't know. Yes. Uh, they didn't have foot bars in most of the airports. Uh, there are hundreds, if not thousands, yes. of returning travellers, all of whom are a risk, uh, and it puts our livestock at risk. So do you think farmers are, as we speak tonight, do you think farmers are sufficiently protected? Absolutely not. Uh, I know they are incredibly worried. Uh, we've seen cattle prices dropping because there's a lot more coming yes. on the market. People are concerned about the risk. Now, that risk has increased to roughly a 10% chance of an outbreak in the next five years. Well, I think that's too high. I don't know if you have a flutter or not, Alan, but I'm sure if you're on the punt, you'd be back in plenty of 10 to 1 chances mm. at the track on the weekend. Mm. But we don't want to see this. Uh, yeah. it, it would be a disaster for our I country. mean, you are right. I was with farmers uh, last week. This is all they were talking about. And I know you and I, I've got a stack of correspondents. They're desperate to try and get some sense into the government. I mean, why can't people be quarantined on their return? Well, I mean, they're also worried about our international reputation and oh, trade yeah. uh, because it's definitely have an impact. Uh, th this is why the Prime Minister's office should take over the response. Yeah. So it demonstrates how serious the government is uh, about ensuring we keep FMD out. And we should take all opportunities and look at all options. And I, I really still think I agree. that we should look at a ban on travel into those high-risk countries until it is under control. Absolutely. Do for foot and mouth what we argued for coronavirus. Let me go to this cashless debit card. Here's another absolute mess. You've said it's helped people in the Bundaberg and Harvey Bay areas. Just for our viewers, it'll be scrapped in September under laws to be brought into the parliament if they can get it through the Senate. Now, you've got 6,000-odd people on the cashless debit card in your electorate. Has it worked? Oh, absolutely, Alan. And the ANAO report that the Labor Party is waving around as justification actually has a table in it that says that it works, that it does reduce social harm, uh, that it does ensure that people are buying the essentials of life and not uh, grog or spending it on pokies. So you know, Labor will always make decisions based on the ideology, never about practical outcomes or how you get to where you want to go. Just, you, you've only got to look at the proposal for the voice. Yeah, just for our viewers, under this debit card, 80% in certain areas, 80% of the welfare payments would be quarantined away from grog and gambling. Now, you've said in your area, and I've heard this elsewhere, that the cards had a positive impact on communities where kids are now going to school, they now have a lunch with them, they're getting the essential foods that they need, rents are being paid. 